Hi everyone, my name is Paul. And I'm Catherine. And today is November 9th, 2022. And it's day one of our Miracles Project. So to kind of explain for those of you who are wondering what it is, we're going to, for 20 days, at the end of every day, we're gonna sit down, hopefully together as often as possible, and recall a small miracle that God gave to us during the day or a time when we felt his hand in our lives and we want to thank him for that. Mm -hmm. So today, the thing that I was really grateful for, my small miracle, was at, I was working as a lab TA in the afternoons before I come home and eat dinner. And normally it's kind of long hours and since it's a small class, it can be um, rather boring from time to time. But today, an old professor of mine happened to walk in and he just was wanting to check up on the other professor, you know, ask him a few questions. And we were able to actually talk together that I had met him down in Idaho Falls just very briefly a couple weeks ago. So I was able to ask him, you know, what he was doing down there. And we got to have a really fun conversation, which was nice. That definitely helped brighten my day. And, and then my miracle today was that, um, so I work as a para at a high school. And one of the students that seems to kind of give me trouble um, in the past was actually pretty pleasant to work with today. The small, the miracle I saw today was I was able to finish one of my harder homework assignments a little early, which was nice because then it freed up more time to work on other stuff for school. Um, and then my tiny miracle, or not my miracle for today, uh, was that this morning as I was driving to work, that I didn't slide and crash on the icy roads. And the miracle I saw today was as I was crunching some numbers for our family budget, I realized that we have actually been spending less money over the past month or so than we have in the past, which I thought was really nice, which means we have a little bit more money saved for the future. And the miracle I saw today was Catherine and I went shopping at Sam's Club and we were going to get some chicken breast in bulk. And we thought it was going to be $12, but when we rang it up at the cashier, it was actually $10. So we saved the whole $2. And then my miracle is also part of that grocery trip for Sam's Club. We went to Winco and... Winco on Saturday mornings can be very busy and stressful and very, um, I'm just busy and make me super stressed and anxious for a bit. Um, and it was really nice. Um, when we were in one of the aisles, we had this gentleman come up to us and tell us we were a really cute couple and that just, I don't know, really calmed my nerves, nerves for the rest of the shopping trip. And the miracle... I was grateful for today was we had some friends of ours in the ward come over for dinner but it was a really busy day so we were worried that we wouldn't be able to finish making dinner in time however we actually had plenty of time before they came over and we even had a little bit of extra time too yep. and then my miracle today was I was talking with some of our friends in the ward um, since we decided to sign our re-sign our contract to stay instead of moving um, at the end of the year and so I was talking to them about the laundry room situation where we are facing the possibility of now having to pay for laundry where previously it's been free and one of them shared that they had heard from a manager that we've had previously that if in our contract it says that we 
um, our spouse to get free laundry, we might be able to be grandfathered in and don't have to pay for laundry. So that was really nice to hear, and hopefully we hear back what we hope to hear. So the miracle I saw today was uh, after work, I had one of my friends come up to me and say hi, and he was eating a pack of fruit snacks, and he gave me his last two fruit snacks. And then a miracle I saw today was was talking with my coworkers and come to find out in this month's paycheck or maybe next month um, I am getting a little bonus so that's super exciting kind of helps um, it feel worth it the job I'm doing and the miracle I saw today was Someone in class saw, um, I had one of my, one of our wedding pictures as my, um, desktop picture, and they said it was a very cute picture, so that made my day. Um, and then my miracle that I saw today was that I got to spend some time with a friend that I haven't seen in a while, and it was really nice to catch up with her and to see her little baby. My miracle for today was Catherine and I got to eat a really tasty dinner together, and it was super quick, but very delicious. And then my miracle today was, so this morning I was running a little late, and I was worried I was going to be more late than I was, but I got out to the car and I didn't even have to scrape it this morning. And the miracle I saw today was, as I was walking across campus to go to one of my classes, they were playing Christmas music on the loudspeakers for an event that was happening later tonight, and I'd kind of been in a bad mood earlier in the day, and it really helped cheer me up. Um, and then my miracle today was, um, so we recently found out that we have some expenses coming up that we weren't um, expecting, but um, the bonus that I am getting, we found out that I was actually getting the full-time amount instead of the part-time, so we're actually getting closer to $750 instead of the $400, which is really nice. The miracle I saw today was um, Catherine and I went out <clears throat> for a little date night to an Indian restaurant and she was telling some of the people at work about the restaurant we were going to and one of her co-workers recommended this certain dish and just by coincidence I happened to pick that dish that I wanted to try and it was really tasty and I enjoyed it quite a lot. miracle from today was we had enough time this evening to start decorating for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then my miracle that I noticed today was I was out with friends uh, shopping for Thanksgiving last minute foods and it was nice that we got everything that we needed. My miracle for today was we got to have a uh, really nice conversation with my parents over a um, video chat, which we do that every Sunday. But this one was especially nice because it had been a long week, a bit of a hard week, and it was just really nice. It was a nice comforting thing to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, my miracle today was, so this morning I was like, oh, we have like nothing going on this evening. It might be friend fun to have some friends over for games. And so luckily... Um, the two couples that we um, invited were both free and able to come over and spend a couple hours with us playing games and just building our friendships more. It was a lot of fun. And the miracle I saw today was 
I didn't have to go into work today, which was nice because the professor over the laboratory that would I, I that I normally work at didn't want to have lab this week because of Thanksgiving. So I had more time this afternoon to work on my homework and relax, which was awesome. And the miracle I saw today was I took a field trip for one of my classes down to the University of Utah to tour their chemistry department. And while on this trip, I was able to have some really awesome conversations with a few of my classmates and just better connect with them in general. That was really cool to be able to do that. My miracle for today was for Thanksgiving tomorrow, we needed a couple of extra tables so that everybody could have a seat while we eat dinner. And there was a member of our stake who said, hey, I have a few extra tables you can borrow. Why don't you come get them today? And I was really worried that he lived all the way down in Idaho Falls or Iona or somewhere far away, but he was four minutes away from our house. So that was awesome. I didn't have to drive half an hour to get the tables. Mm -hmm. And my miracle for today kind of goes along with that. Um, so this brother let us borrow tables, but uh, we were pretty sure that we were going to have to bring our chairs over to our friend, friend's house, but this brother had some folding chairs we could borrow as well, which was super nice and convenient. My miracle for today was for Thanksgiving dinner, we went over to a friend's house and we had to move a lot of food and like half of our kitchen utensils all the way over there. But even though there was a lot of things we had to move back and forth, we were still able to be home and in bed by nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. And my miracle today goes along with um, Thanksgiving as well. There were a lot of kind of last minute things that like we forgot. So Paul was gracious enough to kind of be our little errand boy that would run back and forth between apartments as I stayed at my friend's house, at our friend's house doing the turkey and everything else and helping out. The miracle I had today was Catherine and I and my sister went Black Friday shopping at Old Navy and I found a really nice pair of slacks that I loved the color but I couldn't find the right size in the clearance racks. There was three of them. So I checked the first two racks, nothing was in my size. And I was really sad and I was like, okay, maybe I won't get it. But then I had the idea to go check the third rack and I did and there was my exact size sitting on the third rack so i got them mm -hmm. and then my miracle today was that uh so we went black friday shopping and it didn't take as long as i thought it would and we got just what we needed and it was great the miracle that happened for me today was i I had been applying to a lot of different companies to get an internship so that I can graduate. And just recently I heard back from one of them and they really liked my resume and wanted to have an interview over the phone on Monday. And then my miracle today was that we were able to go to the temple together today. It's been a while, but it was really nice to go to the temple and just be there together for a bit. And my miracle for today was I realized just a day or two ago that I had to give the lesson in elders quorum today, this Sunday, and I remembered in enough time to prepare my lesson for today so I didn't have to do all the preparing this morning before church. My miracle for today was our neighbors next door moved out over the weekend and they gave us the keys to return to the manager. However, 
the office hours were right, like the office hours were exactly when I was working for the professor that I TA for this semester. So I asked him if it'd be okay if I left work a little early to go return the keys before the office closes. And he said yes. Um, and then my miracle for today was, so I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, um, which was a little rough, but it was okay because today did, uh, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Project, um, a way that it has changed my life and helped me come closer to Jesus Christ is that it's helped me to realize that um, my Savior is more a part of the details of my life, more than I let on sometimes. Um, most of the time when I think of miracle, I think of a big grand thing, and it's not always that. It's always, it can also be something small um, that just makes the day feel better or helps me to feel of my Savior's love. Overall, this was a really great experience for me to do, and I definitely would like to continue to do something like this in the future. It was really nice for me every day to be able to look back on the day and have some sort of small physical evidence that the Lord was guiding my life, that my life was in his hands and he was working on the details it was very comforting most days to remember that it definitely didn't make things easier there were some days that definitely were very hard and i was maybe not as grateful as i could have been but i feel like if i wasn't doing this project i perhaps could have been i probably would have been a lot more depressed and let down on those days if I didn't take the time to remember the little miracles I had seen in my life that day.